Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. The resurgence meta here in season four of Warzone 2 is a bit different. Obviously, the health update made some major changes to the overall meta and what weapons are really effective, and what weapons might have fallen out of being really good because of the uh, extra shots to kill that every gun now needs. So today we are breaking down the top five new best resurgence loadouts to run between Ashika Island and then also the brand new Vondel map as well. And we're starting first with one of the most reliable and classic combinations possible, the M4 and the MP5. Name a more iconic duo, right? Real quick, this is the same on all my loadouts here, especially for resurgence. Smokes for cover, for revives, for rotating. Throwing knives for the insta finishes, you get those easy pings. Perk package, overkill, double time, resupply, high alert. If I'm able to grab a second loadout, I'll switch out overkill for tracker, and then uh, high alert for ghosts, but that's not necessary by any means. That's more preference based. Outside of that though, let's focus on the weapons. The M4 is set up here, low recoil, great TTK. Uh, even with the health increase, it's still gonna be one of the better options. It's got a decent damage damage per mag initially we're going for the aimop v4 optic as always with every single optic we're tuning for that furthest eye position and faster ads the 60 round extended is pretty much mandatory now i was running 45 a lot before but 60 is a must have with the health update high velocity ammo gonna make it feel more consistent in the mid to long range ripper under barrel for that added stabilization just gonna make it feel more consistent and reliable easier to use as well then the harbinger suppressor better velocity better damage range a little bit of added control in there too will also help out and just make this weapon super easy to use easier than it already is while also increasing its efficiency in the mid to long range so for a primary the m4 absolutely rocks then as a secondary truly i think the mp5 is the best smg in the game right now of course you got to be running the 50 round drum up from 40 i probably wouldn't be using that in warzone anymore because of the health update TCG 10 rear grip, better ADS and sprint to fire on the tunes to be the inverse of the better control that it's already adding. The factory stock here just going to boost up the control and the uh, sprint speed. So two really nice bonuses there that kind of help out in your main areas of focus, mobility and control. 7 milliwatt laser for the faster ADS and sprint to fire, and then the falcon barrel for the better mobility as well. Overall, this thing flies, it fries, super easy to use, fantastic TTK for the close range, even after we got that increased health. Now, another phenomenal duo, and keep in mind as we're going through all these weapons here today, feel free to mix and match the primaries with the secondaries. They all kind of work well together, but here we got the uh, cast off 762. Its damage per mag is kind of on the lower end because it only has a 45 round mag, but the damage that it does bring is up there, right? It's the most powerful rifle in the game, so it can actually still hold its own even after the health update. And the ISO 45, just a nice reliable smg as far as the 762 setup goes we're just focused mainly on control here aim off v4 yet again the 40 round mag rather than 45 so uh damage per mag limited but still you know doable for sure high velocity ammo yet again same deal as before ripper under barrel with the better stabilization and stability tunes on there then the talent suppressor once more better velocity better range better recoil as well so you're just gonna make it even more efficient in the mid to long range and if you're landing your shots this thing is going to fry like just straight up that's how it is at the end of the day uh then as far as the iso 45 goes same setup that we've been talking about since it initially dropped 45 round drum that is the largest in this case we got the sheer rear grip for better mobility straight up we got the cheetah stock which is also a ton of added mobility and quite frankly it doesn't really hurt the control all that much like this thing is very easy to use i got the quick fire laser if you wanted to use seven milliwatt you could also upgrade to that totally up to you then the kt85 compensator just for better control all around it'll help out some of those mid-range fights if you find yourself in that situation just brings some stability and some reliability to this it makes it a bit more versatile which is always a great uh you know factor on a weapon that's relatively straightforward to use as is this next combination i've really been enjoying i uh, i use this outside of a resurgence right now too because it just works like that but it also fries on vondel and will on a Sheikah too sniper combination of the mcpr then the brand new razorback this is fantastic for sniper support in the mid-range this is more of a slower sniper support as opposed to the 74 hue or the chimera but it still gets the job done this thing if you're in the mid-range and you're landing your shots can actually just erase players because of its faster fire rate so we got the aim op on here 60 run extended mags and must have edge 47 under barrel for some stabilization there uh we got the echoless 80 suppressor i go for this over a heavier suppressor because it's going to be a little bit snappier with the ads this doesn't have as much of a con there so if you're wondering why that's the answer then also the tanker v barrel for the better control and velocity just once more adding some more stability to the overall setup making the gun a bit easier to use and optimizing it some 
uh if you would and then as far as the mcpr setup goes this is the same setup i'd be using on you know normal all mazra as well as resurgence it just is nice and versatile across all maps for sniper engagements i like the delta force scope if there's one that you like more go for that i also do tune this one for the closer eye position just so that zoom feels a little bit more uh you know increased five round mag down from 10 is going to have a snappier ads so that's why i run that of course we're running explosive ammo for the one shot headshots the omx barrel is going to help out the velocity and make it a bit more consistent there the nil sound is going to do the same the damage range factor does not matter there for a sniper but the velocity increases there are obviously very important they make it easier to actually lead the bullets and make sure you're accurate as uh, to where you're shooting obviously you want to hit those headshots so that helps a lot with that by the way as we are breaking down all the setups here today if you guys are new to the channel or if you have have not already subscribed every day i got you covered with absolutely everything going on in cod whether it's news updates loadouts tips you name it it is all right here so feel free to hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications and if you guys enjoy the video let me know by dropping a like on it as well would be seriously appreciated now this is currently my sort of experimental loadout for resurgence it's the icarus which as we've covered previously actually has a very competitive ttk especially in the mid range but then i pair with another rifle ammo eating weapon the cast off 74u so yes these are both running the same ammo type you got to be mindful of that just make sure you put up some uh some rifle ammo in your backpack and you should be good to go but you got all ranges covered here mid to long range with the icarus it fries close range the 74u fries this is also viable for sniper support as well 45 round extended mag here true tack rear grip for the better ads and sprint to fire ultra's at stock for even better mobility seven milliwatt or olay laser is the equivalent here uh for better ads and sprint to fire then the 209 barrel better movement speed better ads speed so we're pretty much all in on mobility it's going to make it fast like an smg but bring the power of a rifle and for close range not many things are going to outgun this then as far as the icarus setup goes we're just trying to increase the efficiency in the mid to long range so we got aimot v4 standard optic as always high velocity ammo for the more consistent hit reg feel in the mid to long range ripper under barrel for that better stabilization echoless 80 for the better velocity and range then i go for the uh cold forge barrel which not only sounds cool but it does help out that range and velocity as well uh frankly some of the barrel options here we only have two and one is for ads and hip fire which is not it whatsoever so it's kind of a no-brainer choice there you don't need the extended mag 75 works well so it's uh it's sort of laying itself out for you as is with the setup here it's very straightforward but it gets the job done and then lastly here i've got a combination of the lockman 762 within the Vaznev one that I've sort of been messing around with here Vaznev obviously is still going to be phenomenal for close range it does have a little bit less ammo than the MP5 so its damage per mag will be a little bit worse but in terms of TTK it's right there with the MP5 for the close range fights I got the true tack rear grip here for the better ADS and sprint to fire Otters at stock here as well for the better movement speed the, with the uh, sprint speed and the strafe speed two huge pros for a sub setup Olay laser ADS and sprint to fire then the cast one barrel will extend that range a little bit it's nothing too crazy for a sub but extending that initial damage drop off which on the Vaznev is kind of harsh could be clutch that could actually save your life and win you a gunfight just because it's adding a couple of extra meters to the uh, initial damage range there so that actually is a pretty clutch attachment it slows you down some but we really gain that mobility back with all the other mobility based attachments then the 762 I mean this thing just for rise right now we got the aimov v4 on here 50 round extended mag because i put this thing in full auto then i just run with it from there high velocity ammo on here for the better hit reg in the mid to long range more consistent feel there lock grip under barrel this is going to be huge because this thing has a lot of recoils so this will really attack that well uh it just says just basic steadiness so that's horizontal and vertical and it's the best in class for that then the sack and tread 40 mainly vertical some horizontal here too just making the weapon even easier to use this one takes some getting used to but man it absolutely fries once you get it down and that being said that is effectively going to wrap things up for this one if you guys enjoyed the video or if you found it helpful let me know by dropping a like on it and if you're new here feel free to hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications to always guarantee you are up to date with everything going on in cod but once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.